Cracking the Code, Mastering Compound Puns in English. Hello, language learners. Today, we're going to dive into a fun, but often tricky part of English humor, compound puns. Puns, as you may know, play with the multiple meanings of a word or words that sound alike but mean different things. Compound puns take this to the next level, combining multiple words or phrases to create a clever and humorous effect. Compound puns, like all puns, rely on the versatility and flexibility of language. They involve combining two phrases or words, each with its own meaning, to create a new phrase with a humorous twist. Here's an example to illustrate this. I used to be a baker, but I couldn't make enough dough. Here, dough, is used both in its literal sense, a mixture used to make bread or pastry, and in a colloquial sense, slang for money. The context is vital when interpreting and understanding compound puns. It's the context that often gives us the clue needed to get the joke. For example, if the above joke was told in a conversation about jobs and salaries, you would be primed to understand the double meaning of dough. Now let's get some practice. Here are a few examples of compound puns. 1. I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. 2. I have a job crushing cans. It's so depressing. 3. I used to play piano by ear, but now I use my hands. Take a moment to analyze these jokes. Try to identify the multiple meanings at play in each one. The best way to master compound puns is to try creating your own. Start with a simple word with multiple meanings, and then build a sentence around it. For example, the word, bark, can refer to a tree's exterior or a dog's sound. So you could create a pun like, why don't some dogs bark? They're afraid of peeling. This is a simple but effective compound pun, using both meanings of the word, bark, to create humor. So there you have it. You've learned what compound puns are, how to spot them, and even how to create your own. English is a language rich in humor, and understanding puns like these can make learning it even more enjoyable. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to play around with words and phrases to create your own puns. Happy learning, and we'll see you next time.